Injuries and health conditions are nothing new to the sports world. These issues are more prominent in American football being aggressive in its nature. Needless to say, it's certainly heartbreaking when you've been waiting for the whole offseason to see your favorite player in action, but they end up getting benched because of illness. Sorry, Houston Texans fans, for we're the bearer of bad news today. First off, what's the bad news? We wish we could have done that good news, bad news thing for you, but we just have a downer for now. To everyone's dismay, Texan wide receiver John John Metzi III has been diagnosed with leukemia. While the team management hasn't announced officially whether John will be a part of season 2022, the chances that he'll return to action anytime this season are slim. It's been reported that the 22-year-old's getting the best possible health care and everyone's making all-out efforts to put him on the field. The exact disease that John has been diagnosed with is known as acute bromyelocytic leukemia. While it certainly is bad news for the Texan fans, allow us to add that this is the most curable form of leukemia so all hope isn't lost. Hopefully, the rookie wide receiver can return to the field and make a swift comeback, shaking the field with his performances once again. We wish John a speedy recovery. Moving on, how's John taking it? Just before the diagnosis, John was all set to fulfill his lifelong dream, making a career in the NFL. He got drafted into his dream team, the Houston Texans, having been selected in the 2022 NFL Draft as the number 44 pick. He played for Alabama and had three seasons with them. During his time in Alabama, John posted 2,081 receiving yards and 14 touchdowns. Pretty impressive, we must add. He also won a national championship with the Tide in 2020. His list of accomplishments also includes two John Cornish trophies, an annual award for the top Canadian player in NCAA football. He's expected to bring a lot of value to the Texans, but all that will have to wait for a while now. John has to make sure that he's ready to take the gruesome tackles customary to the football field, as is befitting a Texan, John seems to have taken his diagnosis very well. Reports claim that the athlete's in good spirits and focusing all his energy on recovery. Mechie's official statement was also void of any hopelessness and frustration. The athlete accepted it gracefully that he might not be able to play this season and would have to focus mainly on health and recovery. However, he's determined that he'll come back even stronger afterwards and has a long way to go in his career. He also thanked all his fans for their love and support, which helped him take this health challenge face on. We'd like to add that Mechie might be a rookie at the Houston Texans, but he's not a newcomer to health issues. He's had injuries on the field, with the latest one being a torn ACL during an SEC championship match against Georgia last December. While health problems and injuries continue to remain a prevalent cause of the premature ending of careers, John's in high spirits and remains hopeful of making a return with a bang. We agree. Seeing him run like a stallion on the field will certainly be a happy sight. And now, what's the disease and is it's something serious. Acute bromyelocytic leukemia, or APL, is an aggressive kind of leukemia that's characterized by an increased number of immature blood-forming cells in the blood and bone marrow. Since most of our blood cells come from bone marrow, this buildup of immature cells leads to a shortage of normal red and white blood cells, as well as platelets. This further results in an increased risk of bleeding and blood clots. Some patients may also experience extreme tiredness, which is never a good thing for an athlete, loss of appetite, and and weight loss. As for the cause, it's the result of a genetic change involving translocation between chromosomes number 15 and 17. The disease is known to be more common in males around 40 years old. However, it looks like our star athlete ran into a bit of hard luck on this one. Not to freak you all out, but yes, it's a type of blood cancer. And before your mind starts going places, it's a very common type of disease, with about 600 to 800 individuals developing it per year in the United States of America. John is also in good luck as far as treatment is concerned because due to an exponential development in modern treatment techniques, APL can be easily cured in today's world. Stats show a complete remission rate of 90% and cure rates of approximately 80% and higher among low-risk patients. So keep your hopes high, people. John will make a comeback soon enough. And now, in other news, first up, NFL star J.J. Watt comes out to be a hero. In a bid to heighten spirits during this video, here's some heartwarming news. It's beautiful to see when a celebrity takes notice of someone in need and swoops in with a rescue. That's exactly how J.J. Watt dived in for a fan who took to social media to raise money for the funeral of her grandfather. A teacher in the Lone Star state of Texas, Jennifer Simpson, posted on her social media that she's selling J.J. Watt edition shoes for $60 and a jersey for $30. Noticing the tough situation her fan was in, J.J. came forward as the hero he is and offered assistance to the woman. He told 
told the lady to hold on to her shoes and jersey, allowing him to take care of the funeral. The star also offered his heartfelt condolences over the family's loss. His move became immensely popular, and fans all around the world came pouring in with likes and praises for the golden-hearted athlete. Moving on, Ricky Williams made astonishing revelations on self-medication by the NFL players. Players go to great lengths during the training camps to make sure they bring out their best game on the game day. However, what former NFL star Ricky Williams has just revealed about the rising trends of self-medication in players points out that these efforts have taken a wrong turn. Ricky shed some light on the behind-the-scenes happenings in the NFL, revealing that athletes regularly take medications without prescriptions to diminish pain from playing football. While talking on the sports seriously, a USA Today show, Ricky claimed that a majority of NFL players use cannabis to subdue the pains from playing football. Recalling an instance from when he was still a rookie, he revealed that a veteran player who was later inducted into the Hall of Fame invited him over to his house and advised him to take care of himself in the NFL. He then took out cannabis, rolled the joint, and even added a crushed Vicodin in there before passing it over to Ricky. He also narrated a story from his final years at the Raven that once, as he was leaving the facility, he noticed a few players heading in with a plate full of brownies to watch a film. He also claimed that now it had become legal, why wouldn't the players use cannabis to help them? It is worth noting that Ricky was himself suspended over substance abuse multiple times for testing positive for marijuana. He also has his own brand of marijuana products called Heisman. Not denying the immense pressure NFL players are constantly under where every other pain and injury could lead to an abrupt end in their career, it's still an alarming thing to know that they're resorting to marijuana to survive in the game. We believe it's about time to arrest this trend and put in place corrective measures for the sake of athletes' health. And finally, Roquan Smith has had a spectacular career so far in the NFL. He's racked up impressive stats and continues to be a star player in the league. Not only is he aware of this fact, but he also wants his big figures to be reflected in the contract offer. However, the Bears are yet to make him such an offer. NFL Network insider Ian Rapoport reported that Smith wouldn't be participating in the training camp before a deal was finalized. He also claimed that the offers made to Smith weren't even close to what he'd remotely consider. So the star linebacker has decided to wait it out before taking to the field. Smith is still under his rookie contract, looking at a $9.7 million earning for the final year, excluding the fines owed by him for missing camp. Despite not making it to the Super Bowl, Smith earned two straight second-team All-Pro selections, a feat in itself. While Smith has his own fan base, the football world is split over his standing in the NFL, which might explain the gap in his compensation. That being said, it's being speculated that Smith is ready to sign a long-term contract with the Bears, provided he gets compensated according to his stats. The ball is now in the team's court to make him an offer he can't resist. Until then, Smith is all set to hold on to his most precious effort, his physical fitness and health. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think about the leukemia diagnosis of John Metti and his return to the NFL? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.